We need to go to, uh, we'll go to Wiggle Way. So I actually found where the side quest was on my own time a long time ago. Because there's a bit over here where there's a mushroom path you can make. So like on my own time when I was kind of exploring, I did this at Cloud Coil Canyon as well. I made the mushroom path here for a chest. Uh, there is a cave up here where there was like some dudes and a bunch of those... Uh, I always forget what the, these guys, Grimchillas. There was like a bunch of Grimchillas in it and the guy was like, aren't these Grimchillas pretty cool? So uh, I was going to mention that I found this. I don't remember if I ever did or not. But when I got Animal Tongue, I was like, oh, I should probably come in here because I can probably talk about the Grimchillas. And that is the case. I just forgot all about it. But now we can do this and this will lead us to another person who is supposed to be, I guess, Again, hard to find because you might not actually get to this cave on your own. But look, we can talk to him now. This cutscene never happened. You could just walk into the cave before. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Mm -hmm. I think this Grimchilla might be trying to tell us something. Let's beat it. I know, let's cast Nature's Tongue, that one. Not Animal's Tongue. And hear what it has to say. The thing that we could talk to animals was what I meant anyways. <laughs> Oi, Pip Squeak, what's the big idea? I'm sorry, I just want to know what you were saying, that's all. Hold on, you can understand me when I'm squeaking to you. Okay, good. And then you stay quiet as a church mouse, alright, and listen to what I've got to say. Uh, alright. Now this cave belongs to us Grimchillas. It's always been our bro. That is, until some rat bag of a port came along and took the place over. He just waddled in here and asked to see the boss, that's me. And do you know what the first thing he said was? You might be the boss, but I'm the big boss, okay? The squeaky cheek of it. I don't even know what a Metal Gear is. We tried to get rid of him, but he's too tough for us to turf out on our own. Now he uses us as his slaves, demanding snacks and massages and all sorts. But listen, maybe you could help us. You might be a little pipsqueak, but I see something special in you. I am also much bigger than you are, Grimchilla Elder, so I don't know why you call me a pipsqueak. Oh, of course, if there's anything I can do to help you out of your little jam, I'd be delighted. <laughs> Really? Oh, that's squeaking brilliant. You Grimmelkin are usually really ratty. Uh, we're cats, though. But, uh, you're not like the rest. Now the big bully's down in the deepest part of the cave. Go and kick him out for us. So I think this is actually, like, two quests that we'll get from this. Head deeper into the cave. We'll make it active. So I don't think we would have been able to recruit this guy early. Because I think we do this and then the next quest is in Ding Dong Dell. From what I remember reading. Also, I don't think it was the guy that I saw standing here. But he basically blocked our path and the guy was like, Grimmelkin are sure pretty... Not Grimmelkin. Uh, the Chillas, Grim Chillas are pretty cool. And then I just wasn't able to progress into the cave. Because we had to activate the side quest. And alas, we have activated the side quest. So I think this is also a very low level too. Because I think we probably could have just gotten this as soon as we got Nature's Tongue. Because we would have been able to mushroom our way up there. We didn't need the, uh, the uh, Zeppelin at all. It's also not much to this cave, it seems like. Except now there's additional paths. So, of course, I'm going to explore. Uh, so, the pork orc man is over there. Got to see if there's any higglies. Uh, one thing I want to say, too. we I don't think we can actually get that one higgledy that is in the forest. Because the thing that he needs is a prism stone that we can't actually produce on our own. It, I think, can be found in some dreamer mazes and can also be sold at Swift Solutions. But I didn't see it when I went in. So I don't know if it's like a post-game thing. But, I mean, when we got the prism, we would have known that we had the right one. Because it's, what's a dark and evil prism stone? Oh, is it the one that's called a nightmare prism? Yes. So there's absolutely nothing here. That's grand. Oh, the mission's called Who's the Big Boss. I'm going to be the big boss in my Swain outfit. Also, the one mission to uh, make that dude a Pop-Tart, I think is also supposed to be post-game, or at least very late game. 
which is annoying because it's like a level 36 mission it makes you think you can just do it right away but apparently not so we're not doing that anytime soon and i also looked up the uh, higgledy we need for that little girl side quest we'll be able to get that one i just need to actually buy some stuff apparently we can't actually uh make salt and pepper this is a weird cave because there's like nothing in here like at all What's the point of these side paths? Maybe there'll be more monsters, or maybe the pork man's gonna get scared and run away. Oh, he even has dogs! There's a chesto! Quank, what are you doing down here? You're not Grimmelchilla. That dirty rat betrayed me. I told him not to let anyone down here. It's probably miffed because he used to be the boss around here and I muscled in on his act. I never thought he'd go up so far as to get a Grimmelkin to do his dirty work for him. Well, do your worst. You're going to regret tangling with me. I'll make a mince meat of you, caddy boy. Leave this to me. Uh, we can hit. Oh, this is actually high level compared to what I would have thought. I mean, it's low level for us. But I, I assumed that this wouldn't have been level 40. I don't think it would be because it's on expert mode. Here goes. Damn it, he dodged. Actually, I think it might have still hit him. Someone hit him. He's dead. Very cool. We got an honorable roaring sword. Get that chest open. Just for some cotton. And it looks like there's really nothing else here. What a weird cave. I don't understand why it would be like this. But I need to go buy some salt to make the higgledy. And I'm going to buy a lot to make uh, more stuff at the kitchen. Because either the uh, tart is something that's post-game or it's something that you get when you max out the uh, level of the the cooking. Which, I again, I think is probably level 10. Most of what I need to make just needs like those salts and peppers and I think broth, which I don't remember where they're supposed to get it. But I'll look into it. I need to get that sauce too. I'm assuming once I make everything once, that might be good enough to level him up. But I could be wrong about that. Alright, we did your thing. Did you really do it? Did you get rid of that, that pestilent pig? Mm. We did. The big boss won't be troubling you anymore. <laughs> squeak, squeak. Thanks, Pip Squeak. The cave is ours again. Hey, listen. You're welcome to come and visit us down here anytime, okay? Just let us know next time. We'll put on a little mouse party for you. I like Thank parties. You. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you. We did it. So, there's nothing new in here, right? I don't think I need to come back. I'm gonna go to Ding Dong Dell and see about that. I could be mistaken on how this progresses. But there should be, like, a continuation mission somewhere based on doing that Grimmelkin one. And that somewhere is not here. Oh, no. I've made a terrible mistake. I don't think I can get the items I need from, uh, shops here. Maybe I need to go back to the gr uh, Grimchillas. Maybe I should have actually kept like the guide up. Let me go to Hydropolis so I can get the ingredients I need. And we can maybe figure out what else I might need to... To do for that last citizen that I want. And then after that, everyone else should be post-game. Which is a little sucky. I don't like post-game. I think this is where I can buy. Hey there. Hello. Bye. So I can buy salt from you. Um, let's just buy 20. I think that might be too much salt. But I would rather not come back. See you. Actually. Where do I get the pepper? I think I need to kind of go everywhere. So I need to go back to Gold Paw, I think. Just at the great gate. 
It could have also been at Ding Dong Dell. The Pepper I think might have been a Ding Dong Dell thing. Who's... Oh, that's the guy. That's the guy who wants the thing. I can't get him. Um... It would be kind of a pain to try to look at... Welcome. The, um... The items to see where to find stuff. This is all just regular food. Come on, I'll be seeing you again soon. I need to find the person that sells ingredients, which would be over here. I guess we're going to all cities real quick just so I can buy stuff. Hello. <laughs> oh, you just have prickled pepper, which is not what I need. Hmm. Get out of my face. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, unless if it's a swift solution thing, it could have been. Swift solution's a bit far away from me. I need I need stuff at Broadleaf, but damn it, I might as well go to Evermore then to, at the very least, make the Higgledy before I go to Broadleaf, since I have what I need for that. I also still haven't upgraded the guy that can revive my party members. Any side missions here now? Surprised we didn't get new ones for you because we uh, got Tiger. But it's good that we're here as well because we need to toss Tiger in. And now we can make the good melee weapons. And once this is done, we can finish the newbie's quest. We go over to the Higgledy zone. So we need to cook up. Oh, I don't know if I remember. Jumbly the Lovely, I think, is who we need. Hopefully, I am right. Oh, look at that hat. How adorable. Again, I don't know if... That's like something that's indicated by the uh, Higgledy book lit thing. But uh, I, again, looked it up because I just don't care to make every Higgledy just for that. Even though it wouldn't be a big deal. And then we can just improve you real good like. Because you love bones. You can actually improve a lot of Higgledies very quickly. I don't think Jumble the Lovely would be one I would want to have in my party. you think Jub Jub the Jolly would be a good one. Because it's Jolly. Jumbly has days. There, there. Dazzling Blast. Boost to attack. Not the greatest. There, there is nice. Everything else I don't care that much about. And then let's at least start cooking some stuff. I think I need to buy the hot Come sauce from you too. Eh? Where is the hot sauce? Maybe I shouldn't have scrolled down the way I did. Wait, there was like food. I don't think that was correct food. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm, I'm gonna find it. See, and then that's all, like, regular. There's not, like, a search function. Holy water. It's supposed to be here, because we did that quest. I'm just blind and dumb? Probably. Spindles and fur. I don't think the hot sauce would be in the fur section. Secret sauce. What a weird place to put it. I do not need a hundred. I just need a little bit. What else can I do? I'll be seeing you again then. Goodbye. And then we can at least look to see also where I need to go to get the other ingredients. Are you ready to order? You ready to order? So I need that Stardust Pepper acquired in Broadleaf. Yes, that's where the pepper is. There's something that needs broth, which is a specific spot. 
I don't have any more chunky meat. Oh no. Bitter broth is the other thing I need. That's just from Swift Solutions, so we can get that from Broadleaf as well then. And then we can at least check to see if uh, the other recruit is maybe a Swift Solutions one now. Hey, level 10. That didn't really do anything for me, so I need to just still make more stuff. More peppers. Some salt for ice cream. Watch that I didn't, like, get enough salt. A lot of pepper now. Alright, so mainly pepper, one broth, and then we should be fine Take your time. for that. See ya. See you. Right, so everything we need to do is in Broadleaf. Which is convenient, and it's also all on the first floor, I think. Also convenient. I need to see if I can get that last guy, though. So, over here, I think we can get Pepper. Swift Solution might be on the second floor, actually. I think he is on the second floor. We'll have to... I'll just get the, uh, ten of this. Ten's too much, but I don't care. At this point, I'm good money-wise. I don't need to save up for anything. Just dump it into whatever I need to dump it in. We'll go and learn that I got the wrong Higgledy or something. Swift Solution is on this floor, but I need to go back down. Watch her have more Higgledy-related quests. Higgledy! Pig Pig Piggle! Higgledy! Oh, it's a Higgledy. Is this another one of your friends? Mm. That's right, your sister asked me to introduce her to you. You like her hat? Yeah. Been so down recently, I thought you could do with a reminder of how cheerful you used to be. Um... Oh, I see. That makes me more upset. Pig, 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 hig, hig, hig! Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee, she's so much fun, but it's true. I have been feeling pretty down. Maybe staying at home all this time isn't helping. Maybe I'd feel better if I went out to play with my friends. Maybe I'll even find some higgledies out there. Then you won't have to keep bringing them to meet me. That would be great if I didn't have to do this anymore. Oh, you will. There are so many of them just waiting to meet you, and I'm sure they would love to be your friends. Yeah. Okay, so uh, how about we go for a little walk today, huh, sis? You never know what we might find, right? Hee hee, <laughs> sure, let's do it. Thank you for being so nice to me, mister. You too, sis. I'm feeling a whole lot better now. And I can't wait to go out there and meet all these higgledies. I forgot about the higgledy dance. I love it. We got it done. We got more level ups. <laughs> Me and my friends are going to go looking for Higgledy together. My sister's coming too. Great. Good. Hopefully I don't have to talk to you ever again. There's not like any more side quests here, right? Pretty sure I kind of just did everything I could. Want to double check. Like I said, the other thing I can think of for that recruit is if it's not at Swift Solutions or at Ding Dong Dell still. I probably just have to go back to... Is that kid squatting? Look at this weird frog child. I probably just have to go back to where those grim chillas are. Mom was working real hard and she just fell down. She hasn't moved at all since then. That's sad, but I don't really care about what happened to your mom because you're a naughty little boy. I have no empathy towards naughty little boys. Sorry. You screwed up. Hi, right, Swift Man. Hello. Welcome to Swift Solutions. Uh, trade in. Yeah, you don't have anyone. Swap for items then. I need broth. I wish this was easier to, like, I wish this had tabs. It would help a lot. Watch him not have broth. How can it be so hard to find broth in a world such as this? Does he not have it? Did I miss it? I guess he just doesn't have broth. God damn. So we definitely won't be able to make everything. That's 
sad. You would think it would have been like a question mark if it wasn't available. Like it wouldn't tell us that it's in Swift Solutions. Unless... Oh, by the way... He's technically not Swift Solutions, is he? I think Ding Dong Dell is technically Swift Solutions. Which is a little confusing. Because Taskmaster was the Swift Solutions guy, wasn't he? So it might be this one specifically. <sighs> welcome, well. Oh, King Evan, how wonderful to see you again. Probably don't remember me, but we met back at Cloud Coil Canyon. Did the leaf book I give you come in handy? You gotta pay up now, Evan. I've actually been using it to keep track of what you've been up to. As soon as I found out that Ding Dong Dell was all peaceful again, I was back here like a shot. Once more, I made a few decent connections on my travels, which should keep me keeping... Help me keep my shop stocked up with high-quality stuff. So I suppose I should cut to the chase, show you my wares, shouldn't I? Welcome. Yeah, this boy has the broth. Also a dragon's tooth, which I don't... I guess I never bought this one. I only needed the one broth, right? I'll buy one more just to make sure. All right. Please. All right. I want to make everything at the cookery. So if there's no one here, I am going to come back this way and see if I can do anything at the Grimchilla place. If not, I guess I'll have to look it up, which is kind of a pain because if you look up the uh, recruit citizen guides, They'll say stuff like, to get this citizen, you have to do quest number 157. And yeah, that helps me really narrow down how to get that. I, I know what quest 157 is. Like, they can't just tell me where to go for the quest. It kind of, it's a little bit of a frustrating thing. So then I have to look up what quest number it is, and then... Figure out where that quest number exists in. For all I know, I was wrong, and I didn't even have to do this quest here. But I'm, I'm gonna run in just to see. I, I feel like just somewhere there has to be another quest available, right? The thing is, I'm excited to get this guy, because... Oh, there is. There it is. I found it. Yeah, I did just have to come back in. I was excited to get this guy, because he's unique looking. I like his hat. You're all right. What are you doing here? Hi. Rumple. Well, I'm checking up on the local Grimchillas. They always seem to end up getting themselves into scrapes, poor things. <coughs> oh, Pipsqueak, the, the doc here is check up on us not to chat on you. He might be the best sawbones around, but he can't work with you chittering on at him. Oh. Oh, of course. Ever so sorry. <laughs> Don't be silly. It's fine. And I'm really not as good a doctor as they say, you know. <coughs> Oh, give it a rest with the meeky squeaky stuff, will you? Take some pride in your skills. Mm-hmm, <laughs> honestly, all I did was patch up a few of the little fellows, and now they insist on calling me Doc. Gosh. Gosh, that's so kind of you. Uh, don't worry about these Grimchillas. They can just die in this cave. Come live in my kingdom. Yep. Well, I do what I can, but that's precious little these days. I've been on the move for too long, you see. I've been thinking I might need something a little more permanent. Oh, perfect timing. Then you might just come to my kingdom. You'd be very welcome there. Um... Oh, so it is you. I thought I recognized the face. Well, I must say, that does sound rather appealing. I might just take you up on that. But I can't go just yet, I'm afraid. It's my old friend Flappy. He's suffering from a disease I've never seen before. I just don't seem to be able to do anything for him. Mm -hmm. What kind of disease is it? Yeah. Poor fellow is shrouded in... Oh, the darkness! Dark haze. I'm on expert mode again, so this might be too hard. He's here in the village, actually, but I wouldn't go near him if I were you. He doesn't seem to way and want to listen to anyone, a word anyone has to say. If his name's Flappy, he's probably like a dragon or just a big bird. We haven't seen those birds in a while. Dark Haze, that sounds a lot like something we've encountered before. Oh, you're familiar with this affection, are you? Yeah, my friend Roland is dying from it right now. Do you have any idea how to cure it? I'd do anything to help old Flappy, anything at all. Uh, kill him? Mm. Well, you probably won't like the sound of this, uh, and I don't blame you, but in our experience, it needs to be, well, beaten out of the sufferer. <laughs> okay. It's a little, so, uh... 
Might have wanted to say that in a nicer way, Evan. Your bedside manner is not great. What's that? You mean you'll have to clobber poor old Flappy? I'm afraid so, but once we have, he should soon see sense again. I think your voice will probably be the perfect thing to bring him back around. Have we been able to knock someone back to their senses? I think we killed all of them. Even for a side quest. Well, if you're sure, alright, then I trust you. Let's give it a try, shall we? Because, like, animal magnetism, ranch productivity makes sense. He also is a spearman. To level 47, shouldn't be too bad. Um, the only time we haven't, like, killed something outright was the dragon pet, but that wasn't even a tainted monster. That was just, I'm a dragon and I'm angry. I think every other time it's been like, oh, we had to destroy that machine that was tainted. I mean, there's never really been a tainted monster that we were trying to help, I suppose. We don't really care about machines, because they're not people. So we're not going to save them. I don't know why I just keep wanting to pick up the glowy bits. They make me feel all happy and warm inside. Alright, the good thing is dragons tend not to be too difficult. Their... Attacks are pretty... I'm going the right way, yeah? Yeah, yeah, okay. Their attacks are pretty easy to... Figure out that poor creature with all the horrible dark stuff swirling around him is in here. If you think you can help me pip him, pip, blah, blah. if you can help him, pip, creep, go check him out. This is again a long path, and yeah, it's a dragon. When did Rumple get here? All right, let's switch our tactics. We are actually good. Um, I don't even think the dragons can do any status ailments, so I don't know. Maybe he can do some wind-related stuff. We're actually so prepared for this fight. Alright, Flappy, I'm gonna fuck you up. The monster gives off an unpleasant aura. Uh, not yet. Well, and talk to Rumple. Yeah. Don't worry, Flappy. It'll be back to normal just as soon as that horrible haze is gone. Yeah, horrible haze. I'm gonna mess you up, Rumple. I mean, Flappy, not Rumple. Oh, ooh. Raw. There's no doubt about it. This is the same affection we've encountered before. We'd best apply that remedy you prescribed. One sound thrashing administered firmly but fairly. You leave the fighting to us, Rumple. You just need to have a word with Flappy when time is right. Flappy! I wonder if we'll not do full health damage to him, just like with the other dragon. Watch your back. I'm assuming that's going to be how it works. This. Was I able to make my big attack come out better with like a combo? I think I did it without the charge up. I can't believe I never knew I could just add it to a combo to make things better. He has a lot of health. And he killed Bracken. Bracken real quick, so we're gonna change that to Fulty Down. As soon as necessary. I didn't realize just how little damage we were doing. Here goes. Not great. I'm surprised I didn't die there. He got knocked down. Here goes. Sadly, I wasn't able to save Bracken. I, like, just not great damage. Here goes. Bracken. Uh, the thing too with these dragons is it seems like mostly if you're really close up to them, they can't do much to you. Not yet. That's a bit of a problem, but I was able to dodge through it because I'm sick. Oh, the fire. I forgot about the fire. Tiastra bullshit. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Especially if I keep deciding to just take the hits like that. Ooh! Hoo hoo, that charge was spicy. Just keep smacking you in the leg. Keep dying. 
But yeah, uh, change that difficulty down just because this is too much to handle. Here goes. And I'm dead now. Figured uh, I don't want to deal with just little damage. That's so little damage. Like, I, I could have... Those attacks besides the charge throwing me off because I don't remember they could charge. But those uh, attacks are easy enough to deal with. I just... I guess I'm still struggling. I don't want to load a game. I don't know why I'm in the load game menu. Too difficult. Normal. I'm not going to bother with hard. I just want to get Rumple. Fight the Flappy. Skip the cutscene. Kill the Flappy. We'll see how we do damage-wise now. Well, the good thing is Tiny didn't die. Ooh, damage still seems a little not great. Ow, and I got hit. Uh, yeah, Flappy's still hard. You guys got knocked out, sadly. Here goes. Not a good slash there. Don't let me down. Boo. Seems like just being. What was that? What are you doing? Ooh. Okay. Being kind of close to the back leg still seems like the best option. Technically, we're doing better damage. And I guess I will just use items here. Need a little help here. Did I, like, accidentally not do Dragon Resist? Did I accidentally reverse the correct thing? Not Dragon Resist, but Dragon, like, boost damage. Because this just seems a bit much... Here it goes. He's doing his weird boost it fire shielding, which I hate. But I knocked him out. Sadly, the I, I hate that the fire shielding stays up when he gets knocked out. That seems unnecessary. Not the best time for here it goes. Need a little help here. Need a little help here. Bracken, get into like. Ooh, that's not exactly the safest spot because of the fire. Damn it, I thought I. Here it goes. Mmm. Yeah, we'll we'll heal. We'll we'll revive. Because I don't want to do this again. It's just... Long fight. Fuck off. Ooh. That's like that super attack. Okay. Tani's dying again, because Tani, I don't know, is being dumb. I don't know where Tani's doing. Is she gonna die because she's, like, getting too close to the fire? The poison's helpful. Here it goes. Here it goes. Didn't knock you out of anything, sadly. I would love to... Heal, but you guys just decided to not stay there for me. Oh no, it's doing a super move. I don't remember what the super move is. That could be scary. I don't think it was anything too bad, but... Uh, oh, there it is. I learned what to worry about with that super move. Here goes. At least this fire is gone. And he's knocked out. We should be fine now. 
I still had to do a big heal even on normal mode. I could have tried to not do a big heal like that, but I just didn't want to do it again. Also, we like outright killed him. We didn't we didn't do the thing where we uh, get almost to his health being depleted. He's dead. Look, we killed him. Gra. Flappy, Flappy, it's me. Can you hear me? Huh, Rumple? I was so angry, Rumple. Rumple, why didn't you have your dragon beat the pork guy that was here? Oh, back in the land of the living, are we? How how could I be so so horrible to my my friend? Goodbye. He just bailed. Oh, he's gone. Poor fellow shouldn't be so hard on himself. If what you tell me is true, that's just how the disease works. Well, thanks awfully anyway. I'll be heading back now. Do come and have a word with old Flappy if you're passing. Like, we didn't recruit him? Maybe this is where we have to head to Ding Dong Dell? Oh, I switched the completion thing. Talk to Rumpel. Where would Rumpel be? He's just in the middle here. I guess he's going to say his goodbyes to all of the Grimchillas that we're going to allow to die because we're not letting him heal them. Which is fine. He can say goodbye to those guys. I don't care. I should really spend a lot of my money to just buy revives. I mean, they're available. I have the money. Hello. Can't. Gar, I remember in the battle I heard a voice, Rumpel's voice and your voice. You saved me to thank you. Jolly good. Thanks. Thank you all for your help back there, King Evan. <laughs> Don't mention it, I'm just happy that Flappy's alright, that's all. What's he going to do now? Funnily enough, I was just talking to him about that, and I'm pleased to say that we're both decided to join your army. Alright, so he'll have the same dragon attack. You and Flappy are going to come and fight for us, that's wonderful, but we don't accept dragons in my kingdom. <laughs> I'm sure you never thought you'd have a vet as part of your army. Isn't it strange how life can turn out? I just hope that this last, latest adventure is a valuable experience for all concerned. Mm. Me too, thanks again, Rumple. Alright, so now we are done, I believe. I said three people. I guess four is what uh, we'll be missing out on. Because the last one here is for the dream doors. And then these ones, I guess, are all post-game. But I, we got mainly everyone we need. So we will go back to... Let's go back to Evermore right now. 